We are now in the Global Economic Forum Impact on Ukraine in Istanbul. I have Member of Parliament at Varhakov Radna, Ukraine, Member of Foreign Affairs Committee of Ukraine. Could you tell us, please, what's happening in your country? How is the situation in Ukraine? You know, it's very hard not to know what is happening in Ukraine now because, unfortunately, we keep losing more and more people. More people are being killed. Our houses are destroyed. Many lose their jobs. The industries, many lost their assets, uh, their land. Many destructions is happening. But the good news is that we keep our courage and bravery. Um, we continue fighting for defending our land. Also, other good news uh, came today from Istanbul, from here, where we signed an agreement uh, with the help of Turkey that will allow our grain to be brought uh, abroad to the world uh, with the um, supervision and protection of the United Nations. And that will allow uh, to deblocate our ports. And this is uh, very important for the food security. Okay. What's the current impact of the war on food security in your country? Well, basically, there is a huge risk and danger that the harvest, if it's not exported uh, from Ukraine to other countries, many people will be in hunger. And uh, it, it causes, of course, raise in prices and we have lots of logistical issues and uh, the situation is, is, is challenging. But we are working on it now to fix it and to... Um, to develop alternative roads of how the food and the grain uh, can be brought uh, for export from the areas where it's safe. Okay, how can countries ensure sustainability of supply of food supply? Other countries, what are you expecting from them? Well, helping us to resolve the port blockage issue and the goods export. Um, we need more investment into alternative logistical solutions, uh, logistical hubs uh, and uh, dry ports that will allow um, to bring our goods safer and more effectively than it's happening right now because the previous um, roads of trade and how we were bringing our goods is not working because Russia is blocking it. Uh, how long will it take to rebuild your country? Unfortunately, I think it will take some time, uh, but the question is when do we have that the Russia stops the war? stops killing our people and not all, all, only our people but also stopping uh, killing Russian society because Russian society is isolated right now. It will take years in, in my opinion but what we do now on, um, on organizing that reconstruction is very important uh, because many people are returning to Ukraine, many are still living in Ukraine and we need to keep the life there. I think whole world now curious about the answer of this question. When will this war end? When we, together with the help of all the world, will manage to stop financing Russian crimes in, Uk in Ukraine. Russia keep receiving lots of economic um, revenues from the trade that and economic tax that Russia currently has with other countries. And when we have uh, lots of weapons, this is, uh, whether we like it or no, uh, this is the solution, only the military solution at this moment. And of course, soft power, uh, economic reconstruction, this is very important. That's what you, you are expecting from the world more uh, designing alternative uh, economic um, ties with other countries, not with Russia, because th those things, business as usual, that we used to have, like the world was working under, is not working without losing reputation right now. And I know uh, there is war and uh, Ukrainian uh, women in very difficult situation. I have seen some images uh, 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 an image a uh, Ukrainian woman delivering her baby in a very terrible in a very terrible place with 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 female doctors and nurses tell us about women it's very hard Ukrainian women are going through 
very existential hard times together with children. But Ukrainian women are very strong because we are doing all possible to defend our families, ourselves, to provide security even in the, such terrible times. It's very hard. But uh, I know that Ukrainian women are very strong.